Learn English and social awareness through stories that talk. Chapter 1 The Swipe Right Sophie had been single for a while and was feeling lonely. One day she decided to try out a dating app that her friends had recommended. She started swiping left and right, feeling bored and uninterested in most of the profiles she saw. This is so tedious, she muttered to herself. Why can't I just meet someone in person? As she scrolled, she came across Tom's profile. His picture caught her eye. Oh, he looks nice, she murmured to herself as she read his profile. Funny, smart, and loves hiking. This guy sounds perfect, she thought. She hesitated for a moment before swiping right. It was just a dating app, after all. What harm could it do? Tom had noticed that Sophie had viewed his profile, and after checking her profile, he decided to swipe right, too. She seems like someone I could have a good conversation with, he thought to himself. Sophie's phone buzzed with a notification that someone had matched with her. She clicked on Tom's profile and was pleasantly surprised. They had matched. Chapter 2 The First Date Sophie and Tom decided to meet for coffee at a cozy little cafe in the city. Sophie was nervous but excited. She had never gone on a date with someone she had met online before. Tom was already there when she arrived. He stood up to greet her and they hugged awkwardly. Sophie thought he smelled nice. They talked and laughed over coffee, realizing they had even more in common than they had thought. They exchanged phone numbers and made plans for a second date. As Sophie was walking home, she received a text message from Tom. I had a great time today. I can't wait to see you again, it read. Sophie felt a flutter of excitement in her chest. Chapter 3 The Social Media Connection Sophie and Tom started following each other on social media. They liked each other's posts and commented on each other's photos. It felt like they were getting to know each other even better. But as their relationship progressed, Sophie started to feel the pressure of maintaining a perfect social media presence. She found herself spending hours editing photos and coming up with witty captions to impress Tom and her followers. I don't know if I can keep up with this, Sophie confessed to Tom one day. I feel like I'm not being true to myself. Tom reassured her, you don't have to be perfect on social media. I like you just the way you are. Chapter 4 The First Fight Sophie was scrolling through her Instagram feed when she saw a photo that Tom had posted with an ex-girlfriend. She felt hurt and jealous, and she couldn't help but comment on the photo. Tom was embarrassed and angry. He called Sophie to confront her about the comment, and they ended up having their first fight. I don't understand why you had to comment like that, Tom said, frustrated. It was just a photo with an old friend. Sophie tried to explain how she felt, but Tom wasn't having it. You're being ridiculous, he said before hanging up. Sophie felt terrible. She didn't want to lose Tom, but she also didn't want to compromise her values or self-respect. Chapter 5 The Misunderstanding Tom misunderstood a post that Sophie had made on social media. He thought she was being critical of him and felt hurt and defensive. They argued over the phone, but as they talked, they realized that it was just a misunderstanding. I didn't mean it like that, Sophie said, trying to explain her post. I was just venting about something that happened at work. Tom felt embarrassed for overreacting. I'm sorry, he said. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. They made up and decided to take a break from social media for a while. They wanted to focus on each other, without the pressure of online scrutiny. Chapter 6 The Distance Tom had to move to a different city for work, and Sophie's heart sank at the news. She knew that maintaining a long-distance relationship would be difficult. They tried to keep in touch through phone calls and video chats, but it was hard. Sophie felt lonely and insecure wondering if Tom was really committed to the relationship. She struggled with her own insecurities and wondered if she was good enough for Tom. One day, Tom surprised her with a video message. 
I miss you so much, he said, smiling. I can't wait to see you again. Sophie felt her heart swell with love. She realized that despite the distance, they were still connected. Chapter 7 The Reunion Sophie and Tom finally had the chance to see each other in person after months of being apart. They were nervous but excited. They hugged tightly when they met at the airport. It's so good to see you, Tom said, kissing Sophie's cheek. They spent a wonderful week together exploring the city and catching up on lost time. It felt like the relationship was stronger than ever. On their last night together, they went out to a fancy restaurant. Tom surprised Sophie by ordering a bottle of her favorite wine. This has been the best week of my life, Tom said, taking her hand across the table. I know the distance is hard, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make this work. Sophie felt tears prick at her eyes. I love you, she said, feeling overwhelmed with emotion. Chapter 8 The Ultimatum Tom's job offered him a promotion that required him to move overseas. He was torn between his career and his relationship with Sophie. He didn't know what to do. Sophie didn't want to stand in the way of Tom's dreams, but she also didn't want to lose him. She gave him an ultimatum. Choose the job or choose her. Tom was torn. He loved Sophie, but he also had worked hard for this opportunity. I don't know what to do, he said, feeling overwhelmed. Sophie looked at him with tears in her eyes. I don't want to lose you, but I also don't want to hold you back, she said. You have to do what's right for you. Tom thought for a long moment before finally speaking. I choose you he said, taking Sophie's hand. I can't imagine my life without you. Chapter 9 The Resolution Tom chose Sophie. He realized that she was the most important thing in his life and that he didn't want to lose her. They moved in together and started a new chapter in their relationship. Sophie learned to let go of the pressure of maintaining a perfect social media presence. She realized that her relationship with Tom was more important than the opinions of strangers online. Tom and Sophie faced many challenges in their relationship, but they were always able to overcome them with love and understanding. They knew that their love was stronger than any distance or outside pressure. As they lay in bed together, Tom wrapped his arms around Sophie. I love you, he said, kissing her forehead. Sophie smiled feeling safe and loved. I love you too, she replied, snuggling closer to him. Suddenly, Tom's phone beeped, signaling a notification from his social media account. He hesitated for a moment before checking it, realizing that he had been neglecting his online presence since he had moved in with Sophie. Sophie noticed the change in Tom's demeanor and sat up, looking at him curiously. What's wrong? she asked. Tom hesitated for a moment before answering. I just got a notification from social media, he said. I haven't been keeping up with it since we moved in together. Sophie felt a twinge of concern. Do you miss it? she asked. Tom thought for a moment before answering. I miss the connection with my friends and family, he admitted. But I don't miss the pressure to be perfect. Sophie smiled. I'm glad we took a break from social media, she said. It's nice to focus on what really matters. Tom nodded, feeling grateful for Sophie's understanding. He realized that their love was strong enough to withstand any outside pressure or expectation. As they drifted off to sleep, Tom held Sophie close, feeling grateful for the love and connection they shared. They both knew that their journey wasn't over, but they were ready to face whatever challenges came their way, together. Chapter 10 The Secret Admirer Sophie had been receiving messages from an anonymous person on social media, complimenting her on her looks and posting flirty messages. At first, she thought it was Tom playing a prank on her, but as the messages continued, she realized it wasn't him. She confided in Tom, feeling uncomfortable and a little scared. Tom was outraged, 
and wanted to confront the person behind the messages. As they dug deeper, they found out that it was a colleague of Sophie's who had been secretly admiring her from afar. Sophie was shocked and felt betrayed by the person she thought was a friend. Tom and Sophie had a long conversation about boundaries and the importance of communication in a relationship. They decided to make a conscious effort to be more open with each other and to set boundaries with other people. Chapter 11 The Proposal Tom had been planning a special surprise for Sophie for months. He had booked a trip to Paris and had arranged for a private dinner on the Eiffel Tower. Sophie was speechless as they arrived at the Eiffel Tower, dressed in their finest clothes. The view was breathtaking, and the dinner was delicious. As they finished their meal, Tom got down on one knee and pulled out a ring. Sophie, I love you more than anything in this world, Tom said, his eyes shining. Will you marry me? Sophie felt tears streaming down her face. Yes, she cried, feeling overwhelmed with joy. Tom slipped the ring onto her finger and they shared a passionate kiss as fireworks exploded overhead. It felt like a fairy tale come true. Chapter 12 The Wedding Sophie and Tom's wedding was a beautiful affair, filled with friends and family. They exchanged vows in a picturesque garden surrounded by flowers and love. As they danced together at their reception, Sophie looked up at Tom and felt overwhelmed with love. She realized that their journey had been filled with ups and downs, but they had always been there for each other. Thank you for loving me, she whispered in his ear. Tom smiled, holding her tightly. Thank you for being mine, he replied. As they danced the night away, surrounded by love and happiness, Sophie knew that she had found her soulmate. Their love had triumphed over the challenges of social media and distance, and she knew that they would face whatever came their way, together. <laughs>